Hello YouTube, Retro Green here again with another recap. Today is February 16th, 2022, and I'm up today, uh, which is a good news. And the market was dead. I was actually, I want to call this day uh, Play Marbles Day. Anyway, thumbs up guys if you like the recap. Subscribe if you like my channel and join the live streams I do every day on YouTube channel. The reveal of PNL is coming up. As you can see here, I made $86.96. And by the way, I ended live stream at around $44. And what I did is, I uh, probably should not have done is, I traded after I left. And I traded uh, after FOM, uh, FOMC uh, meeting. So that's that's what happened. Because I saw the volume coming in. Everything was just like, just huge amount of volume. And Tesla, Netflix... Uh, I also saw Hook was going nuts and um, KSCP. So I started trading these four stocks. I traded Netflix, Tesla, KSCP, and Hook during that FOMC meeting release, and I traded up until close. And my PL swing was actually pretty insane, and I'm not happy about it because I was up at some point $179. So I gave back almost $100 in the past 30 minutes, right before market closed. And most of it was on Tesla. And KSCP actually flushed on me. I was up about $113 on it. So that's pretty much my day today. And I'm glad I'm up more than I was in the morning. But I'm upset that I gave back $100 in the last 30 minutes. So the reason I'm upset, not because of the money, is because of the miss misreading I, I keep having and I, I wasn't sure why because I, I was looking at the volume I was looking at everything the setups were the same it was just no follow-through and I'm upset to figure out why maybe because of the end of the day I don't know that's something that I have to work on and have to figure it out anyway let's go uh, in some of the recaps I'm not gonna go in all of the recaps let's start with hook so hook was actually on watch and I traded it a little bit at the um, at the early morning at pre-market up until 10 and then I think I stopped I was I was up a little bit on it not much and then the biggest gain I made was around 2 o'clock where that pop happened right here that 2 o'clock pop I, I got in and I, I had about I don't know 250 shares 500 shares so I made a I made a decent money on it made 50 bucks because I, I traded it and I was losing money too so I actually so here's what happened right that I had $44 that I left and then I, I actually traded and I went down in red. So I actually was negative $44 because of Tesla and uh, KSCP. And then Hook came and then I made 50 bucks there. So that kind of brought me break even so I was okay. And then KS KSCP started to move. By the way, uh, let's talk about KSCP. KSCP was actually moving pre-market, not pre-market, at the, at the open, 30 minutes into the open, right? Um, I know people on our uh, on a, on the live stream chat made some money. Uh, some people uh, almost five hundred dollars. One person made on it, so it's a decent money compared to how the market is, is is dead, right? I was barely breaking even. I couldn't trade uh, after ten to eleven, so ten to eleven window I wasn't able to trade. And as of course, that's when the majority of the move happened on uh, KSCP. And um, some of the other pops I kind of missed. So KSCP was really $20 for me. That's how I left it before I started trading FOMC uh, meeting. So that's where the FOM oh, FOMC meeting happened right around this time. And you saw the volume coming in and you saw this little pattern. Uh, maybe on one minute you'll see a little bit more uh, setups than five minute. So I've taken I've taken this setups and like I said, I was, I was up a good bit. I was up over $100 on, on KSCP. So I was kind of excited, and I started giving all back. And I have this tendency, right, to start giving back the profits when the stock gets weaker and weaker and weaker on the backside, or it hits the top and it starts because I'm anticipating the curl. I keep anticipating the curl, right? I'm fishing for that pop back up into the highs, and when it doesn't happen, I need to learn how to cut my fishing. You know, I have to cut the number of times I fish for it. And that's my problem. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, right? That's a game of numbers, pretty much. So anyway, that's KSCP. Uh, Hills and uh, KVL, those were early into the open. 
nothing I call them flat trades nothing really happened I do want to talk about WH a little bit because WH actually wasn't on anybody's uh, okay I, I'm I have to my uh, trade ID is expired apparently okay the months over okay anyway so let's uh, let's talk about WH WH was actually not bad because it, it was given these pops and I was trying to time that pop and I believe that pop I timed was about 1115 and nobody were li really trading nothing else was moving and all of a sudden you see the pop in here so I, I was trading really really small share size I believe only 25 shares and I'm up 20 bucks on it. it's almost a dollar a share so not bad nothing else it sold off after it I left it along so nothing really much to talk about um, Tesla and uh, Netflix let's talk about Tesla a little bit I didn't trade Tesla up until F FOMC meeting and right here where I started trading Tesla I was actually on Tesla I was uh, five dollars down on it uh, at some point I'm almost flat and then I kept trading it I kept I kept training those breakouts on Tesla like this false breakout here this false and I kept trading it until the close and I was keep giving away. I was trading small shares amount. I was trading like seven shares, five shares. But the thing with Tesla, if the if if the breakout doesn't work, it flushes a dollar. It flushes two dollars. And TOS was not doing too well of uh, of a job to to get me the fills I wanted. I was always getting the worst fill possible on the buy and on the sell. So that was another crappy part about trading Tesla and unfortunately almost down fifty dollars on it which is a lot and I'm not happy about it I'm not happy that I couldn't get a hang on level two on Tesla I, I'm not happy about that the Tesla breakouts weren't following through and when you do get a follow through you get that two dollar scalp with seven shares that's fourteen dollars right and then you it brings you your total down to thirty dollars in my case and then you're like, okay, I got it. I, you know, I'm I'm onto this Tesla. I know how to read it now. It's it's strong. And then the next trade you take, it flushes two dollars on you. And then you get angry, right? And the emotions kick in. And then you continue trading. And it just, it's it's you know, it's it definitely it's definitely an emotion game for sure. You, you knowing how to control it, that's also key. Netflix. I was actually up on Netflix twenty dollars at some point. I was trading twenty five shares on Netflix, and I. I believe I was adding in some of the pops on Netflix and uh, I was up uh, 20 bucks I believe at some point on Netflix and I just gave it all back again same situation I, I gave it back I was flat and was like you know what I, I, let me try it one more time and I tried it went down five dollars it's almost a break-even trade on Netflix right when you when you're down uh, five dollars and 25 shares on Netflix that's a break-even trade that's just the uh, just the nature of the market orders and the spreads so that's pretty much how my day went. I went, PNL went up to forty dollars. I was flat. Literally nothing to do after eleven o'clock today. A lot of people were just taking off, and I was here sitting. I was doing some other stuff, and uh, FOMC meeting came in, and the volume came in, so I decided to trade. So my PNL went to forty-four dollars and flat for the most of the day, and then I went down almost forty dollars so I lost almost hundred dollars it's kinda crazy no eighty dollars right uh, I lost almost eighty dollars and then what happened is I started making money back on K KSCP and Tesla and I went up to hundred and seventy nine dollars that was my highest peak and I wish I can show you guys that intraday charts but I'm still working on that uh, eventually guys eventually and uh, 179 I was like okay 200 is my psychological number and I was trying to work my way up to 200 I was give, give, started to give money back and I I, 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 I didn't stop and I, I gave hundred dollars from that 179 and I ended up was 186 I was literally five minutes ago I was I was up hundred and thirteen dollars and I gave back 20 bucks in a matter of like five minutes so not five minutes it was what market open was 20 minutes ago so yeah about 20 minutes ago so that's about it for the for the for today it's dead no momentum at all uh, pre-market is dead no gappers scanners are dead I have not seen the market like this in a while 
and I, I talked on the live stream about it and uh, I believe it was like a New Year's Eve or something day or day before that that Friday you remember when the market was open and I feel like maybe even then it was it was still hot I, I comparable right comparable to to what's today but it's just it's just crazy guys it's it, it seems like everybody's hoping for that momentum and hoping to for the stock market to rebound and start trading like people you want you want to see people come in start trading and, and it's not happening so uh, you know is it, is it time to get another job you know you, you got to pay the bills you got to put bread on the table and and so far market is not providing um, y you're lucky if you get over hundred dollars with the scalps I do you know and and I was ex I was actually excited at <laughs> 179 dollars I was up so and thankfully it's KCP again imagine if we did not have KCP and the market was like this for two months like my PNL would be i will probably be red Compa because considering that my 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 growth overall this month is just all about KCP pretty much yeah we, we had some stocks here and there but most of it is KCP anyway guys I don't want to ramble a lot I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Join the live stream. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Let's have some fun. Let's uh, have some entertainment. Let's uh, let's uh, learn something for sure. If you're into the stock trading, I appreciate everybody who joined the live stream today. We had some new people coming in and uh, trying different things. So talking about different things. So all right, guys, have a good evening and talk to you tomorrow early morning.